That is the destination website for many sports fans and concert goers. But it appears that StubHub is also a destination for hackers. And what they did could be a growing trend among cyber criminals. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Matt Rivers. For this victim, it was Eagles playoff tickets. A Philadelphia man noticed he'd bought and sold tickets to the game via his StubHub account. Only he didn't do that. Someone had hacked into his account, sold the tickets, and pocketed the profits. StubHub sent him this email acknowledging the fraud and gave him his money back. Turns out he wasn't alone. More than 1,600 StubHub user accounts were compromised. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. announced federal charges against several men in a cybercrime syndicate. Starting early last year, two Russian nationals would hack into accounts and buy tickets, about 3,500 in total, valued at over $1.5 million. They would then email the tickets to two men in Manhattan and New Jersey who would resell them. Then that money would be laundered in Canada and England. Today's law enforcement action reflects the increasingly global landscape in which financial and cyber criminals operate. Founded in 2000, StubHub was actually sold in 2007. It's now owned by eBay, a company with its own recent history of cybersecurity problems. Back in May, millions of eBay customers were asked to change their passwords after the company said one of its databases was hacked into. The two crimes aren't necessarily connected, but experts say user data stolen in one crime can easily be used to commit another. For every single one of the sites and, and places that you're doing business, be changing your passwords for every single one of them and doing it on a, you know, on a routine basis. He calls it practicing good cyber hygiene. Officials say they're still unsure how the hackers first obtained StubHub users' information, but in the meantime, it's a reminder for the rest of us to look out online. Matt Rivers, CBS3 Eyewitness News.